In this video, we will discuss how to convert NFA into DFA. NFA are easy to construct, but uh, tracing the string using NFA is time consuming because NFA is having a non-deterministic moves. So we cannot determine on given input which state we should follow. In NFA, we know that on uh, reading one symbol, it can go to multiple states. So while we trace the string, it's hard to find the exact state. So we might need to do uh, backtracking many times. So in that way, NFA is uh, slow, but NDFA are faster. So once we have a NFA, we will see how we can convert it into equivalent DFA. And we will be using subset construction method for this. Consider the language L, which contains strings ending with 0, 0. So we will construct uh, NFA first. This NFA accept a string 00, 0 and string should end with 00. 0. So before this, we can have any combination of 0 and 1. So this is the desired NFA. Uh, as we can see that we can read 0 from Q0 and we are going to state Q0 as well as state Q1. So for same input symbol, there are two transitions and hence it is NFA. Uh, the transition table for that uh, NFA is looks like this. Uh, input state it Q0 and when we read 0 from that we are moving to two states Q0 and Q1 so here output would be set of states instead of single state and that is why we are enclosing it within the curly bracket because curly bracket represents set similarly from Q0 if we read input alphabet 1 then we are remaining on to the same state Q0 and similarly we can write down the rows for state Q1 and Q2 for initial state, we will be putting arrow in front of it and for final states, we are putting star in front of it. Sometimes uh, literature are using circle around the final state. Whatever symbol we want to use, we can use no problem. This is just for the uh, indicating that which one is the initial state and which one is the final state. We already know that NFA is having n states, then equivalent DFA can have up to 2 raised to n states. Because in NFA, the output would be one of the power set of the given set of states. So when we convert it into equivalent DFA, it could take two power n states because power state power set could be two power n if the size of set is n. For example, uh, in given DFA or in given automata, there are three states Q0, Q1, Q2. So there would be eight subsets in its power set the subset with no element that is phi, subsets with one element that is set q0, set q1 and set q2, subsets with element 2 that is q0, q1, q0, q2 and q1, q2 and finally the set itself. So this is the power set. To construct the DFA, we have to find out the transition for all these subsets that when we are in q0, and if we read input symbol 0, then we are moving to Q0 and Q1. Similarly, when we are in we are in Q1 and we read input symbol 0, we are moving to Q2. From Q2, if we read input symbol 0, we are not moving to anywhere. For Q0, Q1, on input symbol 0, the transition would be given by union of delta Q0, U0 and delta Q10. So that would be Q0. Q1, Q2. Similarly, for Q0, Q2, the transition on 0 would be union of delta Q0, 0. That is transition from Q0 on 0 and transition from Q2 on 0. So that union will be Q0, Q1. Similarly, we can find it for Q1, Q2 and the Q0, Q1, Q2 states. And same way, we have to find out it for remaining all possible input alphabets. Here we have only 0 and 1. And um, in DFA, the set, uh, the state is indivisible. It is only one, whereas in NFA, it could be set of states. So what we need to do is to convert this NFA, we have to combine the uh, states and we have to convert it into single state. So if we have a Q0, Q1 here, then we will map it to some state. So let's rename them. So we are renaming set of state Q0 as a A. Q0, Q1 as a D, Q1 as a B, Q2 as a C and so on. So this transition table K 
can be represented by this here all the states are single state and internally they might be combination of multiple states so we have just done the mapping so q0 q1 q1 uh, states are combined and we will represent it as a d q0 q1 q2 will be represented as a g and so on and uh, if we look at this carefully from state a we can go to state d and a so d is reachable from the initial state from state d we can go to state g and a so g is reachable from d from state g we can remain on g or we can go back to state a so only these three states are reachable from the initial state remaining all states b c e and f are not reachable if it starts from the initial state a then only we can move to a d and g so we can definitely skip b c e and f from the uh, dfa and when we draw the equivalent diagram for this then it looks like this a d g and appropriate arcs are shown on given inputs 0 and 1 you can verify that this is dfa there is no two transitions for a same symbol from any given state okay for every symbol there is a unique transition from every state and that is why this is the dfa this procedure is simple but very time consuming because many states would be uh, processed unnecessarily when many states are not reachable out of eight only four or actually we can say only three are reachable five also we can ignore so only three states are there into the dfa and um, five states we have to ignore so can we come up with a better strategy to convert nfa into dfa so absolutely there is a way for that so let us try to understand it by example suppose this is the nfa that we need to convert it into dfa so let us first derive transition table for that so that is pretty simple in first column we will be writing all the states initial state we will label with arrow and final state we will label with the star and we can note down appropriate transitions from uh, for each input alphabets a and b in remaining columns we have to start with the first or the initial state and we have to find out the delta transition from that state a and uh, for both the input alphabet a and b so delta a comma small a is equal to b comma e that we can verify from the transition table or the transition diagram so b e is the new state which is reachable from a and yet we have not processed it and uh, if we read b from a then that will be null because there is no transition from a on input symbol b so b e is the newly generated state which is uh, reachable from the initial state so we will find out the uh, yeah so um, this is what the uh, status right now uh, this is the partially constructed uh, table and this is the partially constructed diagram that we have a state a on input a we are moving to b e and input b we are moving to file now we will generate the successor of newly generated state that is b e so we have to find out delta transition of b on input a so when we do that that can be computed by taking the union of delta b comma a and delta e comma a and uh, from transition table or diagram we can verify both are phi so this is phi similarly we have to compute the delta transition from b e for input alphabet b so that is union of delta b comma b and delta e comma b so that is equivalent to set a phi is not a state or we can say it's a null state so no need to process it state a is already processed it is already processed its uh, successors are already generated so um, this would be the scenario right now uh, this is the uh, uh, transition table new transition table and equivalent arc if we add into the diagram then it looks like this on b if we read a it is going to phi or the null state and on reading b it is coming back to a now there is no new set there is no new state left which is reachable and not processed so this is the final dfa you can see that this dfa on right and nfa on left produce identical strings and dfa looks quite compact compared to nfa 
So this is how we can convert NFA into DFA using this subset construction method. Thank you. That's it for today folks. See you in next video. If you think this video was useful to you, then please like, comment and share. Don't forget to subscribe the channel CodeCrafts. Press the bell icon for the notification of latest videos. Stay connected, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.